produce without the interference from the company bureaucracy or politics. So that just kind of um, mean that you should create a free um, non-politics, um, non-money environment to, um, to uh, generate new ideas. So next, let me ask you something. Um, so when, when you heard the word creativity, I think it is a cliche word, word in uh, any field of work, like, um, like uh, if, you, uh, if you apply in a company, you said um, you should have creativity. So in your mind, what is creativity? Um, okay, please, uh, Miss Thu. Okay, so to me, if I apply for a business company, uh, if it require creative, I think it should be uh, your new solution to a challenge. Uh, you can see uh, like the solution and the bright side in difficulty and the way that never anybody nobody have done before so it's the creativity that i think about oh wow so thank you mr that is the um, that is a very good answer um so can i have uh, miss vung oh yeah i think creativity means that you are sensitive to new ideas and uh you look at you know one um one idea and as many sides of the problem or the situation yeah oh yes okay thank you yeah both of your answers really uh, match with uh, ours um, next please so yeah so our definition is creativity is our not our novel ideas that meet perceived needs or offer opportunities for the organizations. So yeah, just um, just as Mr. Miss, uh, Miss Tu and Miss Feng said, uh, here we have a graph, a pie, a, actually a pie chart that, um, that uh, show us how a, how a creative individual works and how it is um, in comparison to a, creative company so um it's pretty small word but if you look closely you you can see that creative um, organization or loosely structures um they don't have too strict rules or mindsets um people usually find themselves in a situation of um ambiguity and tasks as well as uh, assignments are vague um they are not listed in any spe uh, specific ways and um, tasks are also loosely defined and much and yeah and much work is done by is done by uh, improvisations so yeah that is the kind of uh, creativity that we are aiming for uh, in um, management so um, next, I will show you an example. Okay, quick question. Um, who's here use iPhone and why did you buy it? Anyone? Because as I see, iPhone is expensive and with that price, I would rather have an Android for just half the price with more functions. So why, why do you buy not just iPhone, but MacBook Air, um, AirPods, Apple Watch, that is incredibly expensive. But why, why do people still agree to pay such, such um, big money for Apple's product? So, um, does anyone here want to um, share their ideas? 
Okay, Miss Two, please. Um, so actually, I haven't owned anything of Apple now, but um, I intend to buy a, a so so I intend to buy a a, a tablet. No, it's a iPad. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you know Apple has a large uh Hudson High. Yes, it's been yeah, like it sure. has the laptop, it has the tablet, and also many things together. And also, there's a large number in the world using apple yeah. and when you use ios and also the uh the thing of apple you can connect with the large people many people around you and also actually i think apple also go with the quality also like yes i, I research when i intend to buy an ipad um samsung tablet uh, can be able to supply too much function as the Apple does. Yeah, just that. Yes, okay, thank you. Very great answer. And what Ms. Tu just said is is the is the outstanding role of Apple in the um, electronics markets. So yeah, how did they stand out? Um, what what kind of ideas do they have in other words? Are they that creative? So in our research, we we found out that Apple is always on top of the of their marketing campaigns and their iPhones, iPads, they are outstanding. They are incompatible. So why? Why how how do Apple employees come up with such innovative ideas so this is the so as you see in this picture you you can see the room with the closed and sealed door and with chairs inside so that is what they call idea incubators um so apple actively empower its creative people and give them the freedom they need to to create amazing products its industrial design group, for instance, they work behind unknown secrets and restricted access doors like this one, and even listen to background music in order to create what we call creativity. Yeah, so that is an um, example I, I want to give you guys. Next, please. So next. We will look into the second strategy of innovation, with, which is cooperation. So talking about cooperation you, is uh, meaning collaboration. So um, firstly, let's look into internal coordination, which is the coordination that happens within uh, an, um, a, a company. So look at this uh, picture. You can spend some time to look at it. I will try to explain you. This is what they call the horizontal linkage model. It's, uh, it represents how the, how the flow of work um, flows in a company. So research people will inform marketing of new technological, technical developments to learn whether they will be useful to customer or not. And, and then marketing people pass those customer complaints to research to use in the design of new products and to manufacturing um, people to develop new ideas for furthermore improving production speeds and quality. So manufacturing then informs other departments whether a product idea can be manufactured within cost limits. So you see, ideas is the ideas are not just created and then immediately apply. It has to overcome a complex procedure of testing, um, which requires um, every. Um, every department in a company to testify that new idea. 
using the horizontal linkage model. So next, we will look at external coordination, which includes customers, partners, and suppliers. So first, um, the first aspect of external coordination is open innovation. Just like you have an open mindset, um, it is a commercialization of ideas beyond the, the organization you think outside of the box. Um, secondly, it is crowdsourcing. This means you tap into ideas from around the world and let thousands of hundreds of thousands of people participate in the innovation process, usually via the internet. Mm. For example, companies conduct survey to ask for new product ideas like BM, BMW as, um, as everyone for new ideas for the new windshield or US government even uh, make contests to ask for ideas about new laws. Um, and lastly, they can make innovation by, by acquisitions. Um, yeah, it's mean to buy startup company to get innovative products and services or even patents. And usually they want to get also the talent that um, created them. Um, yeah, this is uh, in, in uh, Vietnamese, we can call this um, um, những vụ mua lại. Yeah, like uh, Google bought Android, Disney bought Marvel, and recently, Facebook bought Instagram. Okay, um, next, we will look at uh, an example from a very, very big company. I think um, you all know this. So, um, so does anyone know what is Procter & Gamble and what do they do? Does anyone know? Uh, I will, I think I will wait for five seconds and then I will continue with my um, presentation. Okay, so actually P and G is a um, is a production company. They make all sorts of household products, and these are um, they are not popular in Vietnam, but actually they are incredibly famous in the U.S. And and eighty percent of PNG products, they it is not designed by themselves. Actually, as you see, uh, this is a a uh, vacuum and and a brew uh, uh, yeah, a vacuum and a uh, sweeper in the same in the same gadgets. So yeah, it's quite creative. And then it's there is Mr. Clean. These are all products that PNG they collapse with with big companies all around the world. They don't work by themselves and yeah they make really creative products. So yeah next please. So um, yeah we will look into um, four different innovation roles. So for, um, next week. Yeah so the first one was this is where the creative ideas came from. The idea champion is the person who sees the need for and champions productive change within the organization. So next, the idea from the idea champion, they, they will be handed over to the new venture team, which is a, which is a unit completely separate from the mainstream organization that is responsible for initiating and developing in that innovation. And next is uh, our, uh, skunk, our skunk works. They are a separate, informal, highly autonomous, and often secret group that focuses on breakthrough ideas one example, Google, they has a team called Google X, which has top secret lab 
in an in undisclosed location where engineers are 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 working on out of the box ideas like driverless car or even space elevators. So let's say the new innovations will be handed over to a new venture fund who will provide financial resources from which individual or teams can draw to develop new ideas, products or businesses. So as you can see, um, ideas cannot be um, executed if they don't have money. So this is um, a brief, um, uh, yeah, a, uh, a, uh, a brief graph of uh, those um, roles. First of all, is the is uh, the inventor who develops and understand the technical aspects of the of the idea, but he does not know how to win support for the idea or make a business out of it. So, which raised the uh, question: We need the champion who believes in idea, visualizes benefits, and and confronts or and confronts organizational realities of costs and benefits and so on. Also, they must obtain financial and political supports and they must overcome obstacle. Um, next, they will need money. Um, it's the sponsor to um, execute the idea and it will be high level manager who removes organizational barriers and approves and protects idea within that um, within that uh, company. And lastly, the idea needs to be criticized. Um, not all not all great ideas um, is um, practical or useful. So they need to have. So they need to provide the reality test. They um, they have to look for shortcomings. They have to look at the downsides, and they define hard noses criteria that the idea must pass. So yeah, that is the the end of my part. So the next one will be um, of um, of Miss uh, Mai, please, uh, Miss Mai. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Lam Sung Mai and I will start my presentation. I know that my part is mostly theory. Um, it may bored for you, but I will try my best to make it intriguing. So I would summarize in an equation like this. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so a company successful change uh, would be measured by an equation. This is a sum of a change in people plus a change in culture equal to a change in mindset. To make it clear for you guys, let's dive into the lesson. First, we need to understand what is people change. It's a change in the attitudes and behaviors of few employees in the organization. For example, a company may send middle managers to leadership skills training course. So then what is culture change? It's a major shift in the norms, values, attitudes, and mindset of entire organization. So why should focus on culture change? As companies adapt to changes in markets, consumer expectations, and new regulations, they are being forced to develop new strategies and change their structures. However, for those changes to be successful in the organization's culture needs to be in alignment with its strategy and its structure, a process that often requires a culture change. It is not easy to do. Many said that is the most difficult job. However, there are two, stool, two tools to smooth this. It is training and development, and also organizational development, or I will call it OD in my presentation. Before going on next part, I will provide additional information here so you can take a screenshot 
and look at at home later. Here are some information that I found on the internet that relating to cultural change. And moving on to the next slide, you can see that is uh, another definition of cultural change made by Thạc Sĩ Phạm Đức Toàn. Yeah, I will put the reference shorts in here so you guys can look it up in the internet. Okay, moving on next part. Now is the main section of the lesson today. We are exposed to more specific knowledge, which is training and development in Vietnamese Đào Tạo và Phát Triển. Training is one of the most frequently used approaches to changing people, people's mindsets. A company might offer training programs to large blocks of employees on subjects such as teamwork, diversity, emotional intelligence, quality circles, communication skills, or participative management. Successful companies want to provide training and development opportunities for everyone, but they might particularly emphasize training and development for managers with the idea that the behavior and attitudes of managers will influence people throughout the organization and lead to culture change. Zappos constitute a perfect example for this. This online shoe company Zappos have developed tactics others want to mirror. In fact, Zappos has become such a people change model that they offer a three day cultural camp to teach human resources professionals how to build a culture like theirs. The secret is that people change is their number one priority from the CEO down below. People change is a large part of their interview process. Next is organizational development in Vietnamese factoring tổ chức and its abbreviation is OD. It's the application of behavioral science techniques to improve an organization's health and effectiveness through its ability to cope with environmental changes improve internal relationships and increase learning, also problem-solving capabilities. All they have addressed three problems. First, mergers, acquisitions, the disappointing financial results of many mergers and acquisitions caused by failure of executives to determine whether the administrative style and corporate culture of the two companies fit executives may concentrate too much on technology, products, marketing, also control system, but they fail to recognize that two firms may have widely different values, beliefs, and practices. This can cause stress and anxiety for their employees and um, might affect future performance as well. Cultural differences should be evaluated during the acquisition process and OD experts can smooth the integration of two firms. If there's a mismatch between your culture and strategy, think about it. If the people down below are behaving differently than what envisioned up above, you are likely aren't practicing talent optimization. Okay. Number two, organizational decline, revitalization. Organizations experience a variety of problems like low level of trust, lack of innovation, high turnover, etc. The period of transition requires opposite behaviors, including confronting stress, creating open communication and fostering creative innovation to emerge with high levels of productivity. OD techniques can contribute greatly to cultural revitalization by managing conflicts, fostering commitment and facilitating communication. Thirdly, conflict management. Uh, I will give um, like an easy example for you guys, like the team make little progress 
just because the members couldn't agree on project goals or it's two managers dislike each other. But this is no problem because OD efforts can help to resolve these problems and OD involved in a broader issues, not just a small issues. And that contributes to improving the organizational life, such as encouraging a sense of community, pushing for an organizational climate of openness and trust, and making sure the company provides employees with opportunities for personal growth and development. So look at the screen. I have provided for you guys a bar chart which show the reasons why organizational changes fail. And uh, this is from a survey from a company in USA. Here you can see that the first reason, inability to cope with technology, accounts for 14%. And in properly defined objectives, accounts for 17%. And lack of effective communication, 20%. An unfamiliar scope, 17%. Lastly, poor project management skills, 32%. Next, OD3 activities that firms, any firms can do. First, team building activities. You may have heard the word team building before. It's a type of OD intervention that enhances the cohesiveness of departments by helping members learn to function as a team. For example, the company Salesforce in USA is well known for its cultures of giving. As shown by its community give back program, the company donates 1% of its yearly equity and 1% of its products and 1% of employees time to communicate community volunteer projects. Secondly, survey feedback activities. It's a type of OD intervention in which questionnaires on organization, organizational climate and other factors are distributed among employees and their results reported back to them by a change agent. And next is large group interventions. It's an approach that brings together participants from all parts of the organization and may include key outside stakeholders as well to discuss problems or opportunities and plans for major change. In the next slide, you guys can see that I have provided for you guys a um, table that a table that compare the traditional model to a large group intervention model. So you can see that they have analyzed in different sections. So, and they go to the conclusion that the previous model make incremental change, not much. But when we see the conclusion of the later, you can see that it makes rapid transformation, which is really good for firms to apply it to their business. Okay, so now I will move to the next part, which I really focus on this because it, it is the most important. Okay, so today we will learn all the three steps of the win model, but I also provide for you guys another model of Carter and ADKAR. Yeah, you can see Carter uh, divided into eight stages and ADKAR, it stands for five things. Okay, so about the win model, it is the most popular and it consists of three main stages so now we have a question for you guys. Anyone know what are the names of these stages? Could you please raise your hand?
or if you know, just can raise your voice. So I will repeat the question for you guys. So do you know what are the OD3 steps that are mentioned in the textbook? Yes, Lam Yi, please. Um, is it unfreezing, changing, and then refreezing? Yes, perfect. Um, Lam Yi has provided for us a really perfect answer. It consists of three main stages, unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. I will give you the example first and then provide a definition. So this would be much more easier for you guys to follow my presentation. For example, an ice block cannot get converted into a new shape without melting it. So it would be best if you created a hot environment to melt the ice block, right? So the temperature must be more than zero degree to melt the ice. So here, increasing the temperature denotes the freezing, the unfreezing stage. According to Lewin theory, unfreezing refers to preparation for accepting the new norm, norms of the workplace. It is the initial stage to get ready to accept the change. The management needs to motivate employees to accept change. It will take time to transform the entire ice block into the water, keep the glass in an isolated place and ensure the temperature is suitable for melting ice. Then the ice block completely transformed to water pour it into a new pot to give it a unique shape. Here, pouring the water into a glass is the changing steps or moving stage. Melting the ice denotes the change stage of Lewin's theory. According to Lewin's theory, changing refers to accepting the new norms and moving on to change. Thus, the employee starts to change and accept new norms of the working place. Finally, keeping the glass in the cold place to transform the water into ice again. It is the way of freezing water transform again into a new solid shape. It is called the process of refreezing and the final stage of Lewin change management model. Refreezing refers to adjusting to new norms of the workplace and the employee has already accepted the change and they adapted and to the new environment. That's all. And the model summarized that successful management change is accomplished through a three-stage process, unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. To make it clear, I will provide definition. Unfreezing is the stage of organization development in which participants are made aware of the problems to increase their willingness to change their behavior. And also another outside definition is a change agent. It is an OD specialist who contracts with an organization to facilitate change. Uh, back to the textbook. So changing is the intervention stage of organization development in which individuals experiment with the with new workplace behavior. Lastly, refreezing is the reinforcement stage of organization development in which individuals acquire a desired new skill or attitude and they are rewarded for it by the organization. Okay, so that's all my presentation. Now it's the big summer for you guys. Okay, cultural transformation is enormous, enormously challenging. Yet, by following a model for success, marshalling the right executive support, ensuring the proper clarity and focus, and recognizing also rewarding desired behaviors, successfully transforming for your organization's culture 
is not only possible but highly probable. Okay, we have learned uh, through six definitions, which is first, people change, second, cultural change, um, number three, training and development, number four, organizational development, and number five, I have grouped three definitions into one for you guys to uh, easy to take note and remember. It's team building, survey feedbacks, and large group intervention. And number six is also the last one, is freezing, changing, and refreezing. And please remember the six, the number six clearly because um, it's the main point of my presentation. And thank you for listening. Now is not my part. Yes. Hello, everyone. And we will see the next part. Please keep listening. First, implementing train. Firstly, we need to outline the need for chain also means we are a sense of urgency is disparity between existing and desired performance level. Secondly, understand the resistance to change such as self interest, lack of understanding and trust, uncertainty, different assessment and goals. Uh, next, we will move on to fork field analysis. Mean phương tích mean động lực. Fox file Fox file analysis is a technique for determining weak forces via rose ball chain and weak forces restrain it. Furthermore, chain is a result of a competition between driving and restraining forces. Driving forces lực thúc đẩy are problems or opportunities that provide motivation for changing and restraining forces lực kìm hãm are barriers to change such as a lack of resources or inadequate employee skills. In the exhibit, you can see about the problem is changing the job and its driving forces of this problem are higher salary, learning skill, bigger responsibility in the opposite restraining or opposing forces are performance pressure and certain job role pressure to establish by selectively removing the barriers that restrain chain the driving forces will be strong enough to enable implementation of changing the job now can everyone tell us about your driving forces and restraining forces when you decide that either you should study abroad or study at UEH, please. Yes, Nguyễn Hạnh, please. Well, my driving force is that I believe that when I had a chance to study abroad, I would get a access to better education, uh, I can get a chance to practice my English and work in a more global environment. And lastly, I maybe I can get a chance to have a residentship somewhere abroad. However, mm -hmm. my restraining force is uh, that um, it usually costs an impossibly large amount of money and also you generally have to have some kind of connection. If not, you will encounter many difficulties when living in a completely foreign environment. Yes, thank you for your honest answer. Anyone else? Okay. If not, we will visit our reviewer sample answer. You can take a short look in this Uh, driving forces, right, improve your linguistic skill, enhance your network, and develop your confidence, discover career opportunities abroad, and restraining force, like language barriers, culture shock, and it's like Minhan mentioned, it's a expensive and different in teaching styles. Next, we will talk about use 
implementation tactics thực hiện chiến thuật and there are five different approaches in this topic the first top management when to use this approach is support symbolize to all employees that the change is important for the organization this is also crucial to the successful implementation of a change and the second communication and education are used when users and others who may resist implementation need solid information about the chain. And the third participation involves user and potential resistor in designing the chain. This approach is time consuming, but it pays up because users understand and become committed to the chain. The fourth negotiation use formal bargaining to win acceptance and approval of a design chain. And the fifth coercion means managers use formal power to force employees to change. Resistors are told to accept the change or lose rewards on the church. Coercion may be necessary in racist situation when a rapid response is urgent, but you shouldn't use it unless it's very urgent. Yes, that's the end of my part and Le Wang Nam will continue. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, so just um, to sum up our lesson today, so about this entire, um, about this um, entire chapter 11, we have here, which is, um, managing change and innovation so um so first of all this is miss uh mr min part is um is the innovation and the changing workplace so now so first of all now you know why why um why people always resist um change maybe um yeah um it is um, because of um, many reasons like um, self uh, self interest or lack of uh, understanding and trust and then you know about the disruptive innovation and the ambidextrous approach and then in my part um, changing things new products and technologies you know um, you know about free um, um, Three side trees that the uh, company uses. First of all, is exploration, which is to be creative, to have a uh, creativity. Um, cooperation is to um, collaborate um, you know, with uh, many people outside your uh, company. And last is um, four innovation roles, as I mentioned, like the uh, like the idea champion the new venture team skunk sport and the new venture fund and then um to uh, miss my changing people and uh, and and culture is a um it's a really big part but um but uh in summary it it has two main points is uh, is the uh, training and development and the organizational the um, development which you call is the o which the od and there are three three activities and also three stages um as we mentioned before and last but not least is um is how you can actually um implement those uh, changes using um a sense of um a sense of uh, a sense of urgency, um, or um, as uh, Ms. Uh, Mice has uh, analyzed for us, is how to use the four tools analysis. You um, you analyze the pros and cons and so on, and yeah. And lastly, uh, the uh, textbook um, so as um, some of the um, uh, some of the example tactics that uh, we that we can use um, in the future to um, implement these uh, changes and innovation uh, yeah uh, and that is uh, all for 
our presentation. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you again later. Good, uh, thank you for Team uh, Phi, which uh, your presentation about uh, Chapter 11. So you uh, had uh, very in detail of the content of Chapter uh, 11. And uh, um, for your last, any question you can ask for Team Phi, and you can discuss with uh, my uh, deep, uh, deeply in some content of uh, Chapter 11. Any question? Any question? Are you um, uh, about some? Uh... So, uh, as you uh, as you know, um, uh, innovation is very important for on uh, company or organization today. So on company must they must uh, uh, change uh, innovation to change to um, adapt with uh, the uh, environment. Yeah. So this uh, chapter also uh, is uh, connect to the reverse chapter chapter ten. Chapter ten, we uh, we talk about the uh, structure, yeah, structure, organizational structure, and uh, it's also in um, in the chapter ten. I also uh, uh, emphasize you that the trend today as. On organizational structure, we tend to, uh, to move to the uh, um, how to uh, flexible, how 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 to to make um, to to um, flexibility to um, for the structure. So if they um, they have um, more flexible, so they can more creation creative to uh, to make change in for the adapt environment. So oh, oh, I think uh, it's some um, maybe some maybe um, a bit use some uh, online that uh, talking and um, first uh, we uh, we talk about the, uh, the type chat type innovation innovation uh, maybe about it uh, really metal and uh, disruptive so they are they are matches you can you can know um, different type of um, innovation innovation you know. so in really metal innovation uh, that's um, just about you uh, you make um, may, uh, some uh, small innovation from the um, bottom uh, and it's the uh, the top and disruptive also disruptive with, with new new technology applying new technology in the existing uh, markets but also we also has the architectural innovation and uh, radical innovation as my new we uh, uh, we do existing uh, technology and the new in the new markets and also the, the very high higher level level of um, innovation uh, that's the radical innovation that we apply new te technology for the new markets so that's the uh, one i want to emphasize you and uh, maybe about let's say, emphasize about the um i mean the richest uh, approach uh, that's about uh, when uh, when the uh, <coughs> 
the company they must uh, do they work best they apply the uh, apply the way how to uh, to uh, motivate on the employee to to has new idea to um, to apply the innovation when they work working. That's me. I can uh, summarize some uh, main idea and about on the corporate of corporate and. Uh, Let's give you uh, um, an example of uh, change, changing uh, this, uh, people and culture. That's uh, I will tell you a story of uh, UH. So you can you can know the how how we apply applied innovation at UH. You see um, <coughs> at UH uh, in um, 2015. Uh, 2016, 16, uh, US uh, uh, applied new strategy about um, international and uh, research orientation and university. Be before, you know, before US, um, very famous at uh, uh, apply, apply university. So we uh, usually we, uh, we uh, apply a theory to the uh, to practice and we uh, develop and we uh, implement uh, implement many projects in practice for both the company and the government. First uh, problem is uh, uh, 2016. US the uh, change change the uh, orientation the strategy. That's the we go to uh, international and. Uh, uh, it, um, and the uh, research uh, university. So the, this uh, uh, this strategy that's actually very new for all people at UH. Very new. So many many people, some uh, many people they may uh, disagree with uh, this uh, the strategy because because uh, they think. They talk that um, it's uh, not there's no problem. There was no problem uh, at that time. U.S. also developed uh, and also very famous um, as in Vietnam, very famous. And why? 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 Why we want to change? Uh, so um, to to uh, implement uh, implement uh, effective in uh, the strategy. So U.S. also must uh, do something uh, through some uh, people chain and uh, culture chain of U.S. The first, the first I remember that U.S. Uh, 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 conduct uh, many um, uh, team building, uh, team building uh, for on on the people, on the staff and uh, lecturer of U.S. The first, uh, the first, uh, the first day from that. And and when we we go to um, uh, Pantheon, Pantheon, about three days, Pantheon, and uh, we go and we uh, we um, we uh, play um, uh, stimulating, and uh, we um, discuss we discuss about uh, uh, the, the, uh, the current of the U.S. and the uh, uh, the chain of the environment. And uh, uh, we asked about how 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 could the U.S. Uh, develop uh, for the uh, new uh, environment of the of environment and the future how how U.S. Uh, developed. So and every people they can ask a question and answer the question and uh, discuss in this uh, team building uh, answer the question. Uh, so that's. At that time, and the, the first step that we uh, call the discussion on the discussion, that's uh, the uh, we uh, we play the awareness uh, of the people that they think uh, on people, uh, lecturer and uh, employees. As you add, they must think about uh, well, uh, we need to check uh, uh, the teacher. U.S. Uh, obtain the staff uh, on people think that. Uh, we we need to change. We need to to uh, change a new new way, 
the new um, uh, strategy at, at the time. And after that, many, uh, many course, many uh, program training and uh, COP has been uh, implemented in SUS, for example, uh, uh, the program training about um, research uh, methodology to all the lecturer and uh, researcher of the US to know how to make the research to the public on the international journal, for example, many, many costs, many costs, many, and uh, also many, um, uh, many costs about the uh, about English for the US uh, lecturer. And uh, US uh, change the, the core value and uh, uh, there's the, um, also the culture. The culture uh, that's that and and is uh, as the uh, um, this time we also do this uh, the, um, uh, continue to to make to a trend uh, the, the changing of the us to make every people to uh, to uh, adapt and uh, may uh, suitable for this the new strategy so also also in this year and next year, uh, we must uh, make the make uh, for the, the the third step that's the re um, re release releasing. That's the, we must make people to they uh, can the, the habits to uh, to uh, do the research research and uh, maybe um, in. Um, Improve, improving just on uh, uh, the uh, technique or skill um, to adapt with the, the, the new orientation about the international orientation and uh, research orientation of the university. So I, I give you one example. It's not so because I, I heard that uh, my is uh, the your your part is very in, in, in theory, focus on theory, but on in in practice, the step of uh, the step of uh, uh, training and development and uh, organizational development, uh, we apply uh, and many company also apply this uh, knowledge and this uh, skill into uh, pra practice and uh, to uh, much train. Or the company. So it's the uh, I, I want to give uh, one example so you can you can know clearly around we can apply we can apply this theory or um, in in real life. Okay. Okay, I think uh, uh, we have uh, some time, so we maybe uh, we do uh, one.